So this is the video review for iGear's PPO3J Fighter Team Jet. And uh, before I get into the figure itself, I just want to go over some of the stuff it comes with. Um, first off, it comes with a whole bunch of little stickers. And um, these are actually those markings that are tampoed on to the official uh, Takara releases for um, you know, Masterpiece, Starscream, Skywarp, and Thundercracker. Um, with the only additional... A uh, set of markings being these little unicorn symbols here. That's a unique logo. Um, obviously, no Decepticon symbols because, you know, copying of the whole toy won't get Takara Tomi after you, but including Decepticon symbols definitely will. And it does also come with this little um, collector's card. This thing is a lot nicer than it really has any right to be. It's I think it's done in uh, coated in plastic. Very shiny, uh, very sturdy. It just has a the picture that they use in the box, and uh, same picture of the robot boat and fighter boat again that's used on the box, and uh, some stats, but no actual bio, so it's a little weird. And of course, this um, weird comic that is, I mean, I like to think that I'm pretty good at figuring out English, but, you know, this comic just kind of baffles me with, like, lines like, Look, Earth Aboriginal! I mean, hi, little, hi, cute little animals, you miss me? I mean, that's pretty good. But then it ends with, like, him saying, anyone need signature? Oh, no, look, there's the next set of intellectual property infringing robot toys. But, um, I thought this, like, had the instructions in it, but it doesn't, and I couldn't find instructions in the box, so I'm not sure if it was supposed to come with instructions. I mean, I don't really need them because I already own Skywarp and Thundercracker. Uh, but I just think it's kind of weird that it had no instructions. So, onto the toy itself. Um, I left everything open so I would remember to talk about it. And the first thing you're going to notice is there's a tail fin missing. Because this was actually separate to the figure in the box. And I'm not sure if you noticed, but the little tip on the end is broken off. Which might not be as bad, but this is a piece of white plastic painted black. So it shows up very prominently. Um, I mean, this does just go back on. It's not a huge deal, but again, it was broken out of the box, so... Yeah, I mean, I emailed them. Hopefully they'll get back to me on that. But uh, it's already a point against it. Alright, so you see it does come with the whole same stand as the Masterpiece Jets. Um, one thing, I can't get this to go in any farther for the fighter mode configuration. It just is too tight. Um, you can still store this thing on the underside, just like on the Masterpiece Jets. And of course, it still goes in here. Of course, I can, again, only get it in like this far. So I'm gonna set this aside and focus on the figure itself. And as you can see, it's still got little radar in the nose, still got the open canopy, it's still got the the air brake, um, still has the landing gear. One interesting thing is that this bar, this die-cast bar here, is not painted. None of the die-cast on this toy is painted like on the official ones, which might be a good thing because that paint was kind of chip-prone on the official ones, but I just thought to point that out. Of course, it's still got the, the landing gear and all that. And, um, yeah, you know, it's the same size as the official toys. Uh, with the obvious modifications. Um, you know, it looks the part. Oh, and uh, two things I'm not really going to go over in this review is um, it does come with the little Dr. Archiville figure, um, hilariously referred to on their website as a Dr. Evil figure, so you can make your own jokes about demanding uh, $1 billion holding the world ransom. And it also does come with a little clip that just goes in there to hold the Megatron gun, which, you know, only comes with Optimus Prime, so, but that, that's the thing the car did, where they decided to include accessories to work with other accessories that didn't come with the toy. So I'm going to start by transforming this thing. And, you know, as you can see, you just remove those, and it does come up, again, the little inaccurately molded Sidewinders, just like the Masterpiece Jets. And uh, I guess one nice thing is that it comes with enough little holes on the bottom so that you can have both the, the missiles 
and the drop tanks. Um, one thing I should mention though is um, like the all this red here is painted on these like these are white parts that are painted red and given the blue and white markings on them. So um, that's for people who are kind of worried about the uh, BPO three E LG or whatever it's called the uh, not George because they thought that um, the yellow way or the gold wings were made of the dreaded gold plastic and I'm pretty sure it's just going to be blue plastic painted gold. So uh, this is a little different than the masterpiece sold is that these wings are attached to the legs so you can separate the legs completely. And uh, also there's this sliding mechanism here. If you get it stuck halfway it does tend to just kind of flop around so you definitely want to make sure it's either all the way back or all the way forward. And so I'm just going to go ahead and push these both all the way forward so that they lock forward. And um, another thing that they changed on this is that it's hard, kind of hard to see here, but there was a, this little plastic arch here uh, right behind the cockpit. It was originally just part of the body. And um, what they did here is they actually integrated it into this whole back panel. And the reason for that is obviously to let the, the new cone head have space to flip out. So, you know, that's one thing. And uh, also another thing is that these little panels here on the side that on the Masterpiece jets, you're supposed to flip it out so that you can pull the intake down and pull this whole piece off and around and unlock these uh, top parts of the wings here. Um, this doesn't flip out, like, as at all as far as it needs to go. Like, it goes a little bit, but it doesn't go as far as it needs to. So instead, you kind of have to just, you know, pull the intake down and forward and just kind of fudge bringing these out. I mean, it's this little panel, this little panel here still um, folds inwards, it just doesn't fold outwards, which is kind of weird. They got everything right except for that. And again, you just kind of fudge it so that you can fold them out and bring this thing up. And of course, unlock the parts of the wings here and you can sort of do the same thing on the Masterpiece jets where you bring this whole thing out. Putting this back in is a little hard because it, it's actually not bolted properly so it it, it hit, like collides right here so you have to kind of just push it in really hard to get it past itself. So and as also you can see um, the consequence of moving the wings down the legs is that now this big panel here is part of the upper wings. So but these still fold in. And they still do have the joint that folds up, but you know with these big panels here you can't really do anything with them. So that's one big difference. And of course you still have the the whole system with the arms making up most of the front of the body. Um, one problem with them deleting that little archway from the uh, the back of this thing is now that this kind of really rattles around in between modes. So that's that's another little point against it, in my opinion. And of course you still have the little halves of the torso, which you bring out. You can see they're they're bold and black with a little painted white part. And uh, you know, bring these down. Start getting the body all f figured out. And of course, you bring this whole thing down. You open up the cockpit. Flip the seat in, and start bringing this whole thing through. You just go to the back and then you push the whole nose in a bit. It's actually a lot tighter on this. It doesn't quite make the nice clean snap in, snap out as on the Masterpiece toys. And of course, you bring the back panel down, line up the hole with the peg in the back, and push that in. And of course, you have to line up the. That's, uh, let me show you. There's a little 
middle tab here that goes into the bottom of the cold like, cockpit seat right there. And then yeah, that goes in pretty well. It's, it doesn't really quite lock in as on the Masterpiece Jets. It's a little loose. And of course you need to bring out this little crotch panel, which for whatever reason this crotch panel goes all the way down now instead of just kind of stopping. But, you know, it's still kind of annoying on this. It doesn't quite stay, and it usually just pops right back in. And, of course, he can bring his fists out. And break his legs apart and bring out his feet. And, you know, just do the little tidying up, you know, position his fingers correctly. And then take his little drop tanks and stick them on his arms. Um, one thing I don't really like about the way they designed this, I mean, I know this is based on the original custom that they, uh, used as a basis for these, but these, you know, the original um, G1 Ramjet had, like, sort of bomb-looking things and not just full-on prop tanks, and these don't look really like weapons to me. So that, that's a personal preference, but, you know. And um, I don't really know what kind of voodoo magic some people are using, but I can't get my, my PPO3 jet to stand up at all. He just won't stand. Um, it's, I feel like the feet are actually a little bit longer than the jet, the jet nozzle heels, so I don't know what's going on there. Um, so as you can see, he's got pretty much all the same features as the Masterpiece Jets. He's still got the flip-up missiles, and they're actually painted red, so you can see that they're there. Um, he's got uh, one additional, or a pair of additional things now. He's got little communicators in his arms, which I'm pretty sure he never had in the show, and um, I don't know if you can see it, but one of them is sound wave, and the other communicator I think is supposed to be Skywarp, who I don't think Ranch Up ever actually talked to again in the show, and maybe he did in the comic, I guess he did in that new Spotlight Ranch Up comic, he talked to Skywarp, but... You know, kind of petty things. Um, so yeah, this guy, again, does not really stand up. And I think that's a problem. Uh, I gotta say that I'm not sure what the whole obsession is with wanting to put the, the wings on the legs. Um, I guess that's more like the classics toys. But, you know, the original Masterpiece Jet Mold had this whole thing attached to the hip. And, you know, having the wings attached to the hip was actually just like the G1 ramjet toy. So I don't really know why they had to change it because it really does nothing to benefit the toy at all and instead it makes it really hard to stand up and I mean these things don't go far enough to the ground so that they can help him stand up and these also fold in but the tail fins just knock into each other so again it's kind of weird. A lot of weird design choices on this guy. Um, so again because I can't get him to stand up, I'm just going to stick him on his stand and try to show you some other things about him. Um, one thing that I don't like is that you can't really get his, well I guess you can get it, yeah. You see, I can't get his leg to really stay slightly parted, it keeps wanting to come right back in. I can put it out here, but that looks silly. I can't put it here, which is where I want it, but it just kind of immediately snaps back down. I'm not sure it's because of the weight of the wings on the legs. Again, that's a problem with the wings on the legs, and that they can't really hold the weight. And uh, you can see he does have the new cone head, and the ball joint's kind of loose, a little loosey-goosey. Um, it's not a bad head sculpt, you know, obviously it, it is a huge cheat to have the cone head on the head and you know not part of the transformation but you know these toys were never designed to be cone heads so that's a just a problem with trying to adapt the toy to do something it was never meant to do 
Um, you know, overall, like, comparing this to, say, you know, the official toy, like, Thundercracker here, um, the quality is really good on these toys. I mean, if you didn't know that this was a third-party toy, it, it's really hard to tell. I mean, there's the little things I showed you, like the the rattly transformation joint, um, the fact that these little panels on the back for transformation don't swing it all the way. Uh, one thing I noticed is like this little finger here, it's either, I don't know if you can see, but it's like, it's either like this or all the way out like this. You know, it just immediately snaps to going all the way out. And there's nothing I can do to fix it. And of course, obviously, one of the parts being broken in the box um, is a big tip off. But yeah, you know, I was kind of excited about these. But in getting one, I'm just not really feeling the love here. Um, so this is this is kind of a negative review. I'm just saying, like, the changes they made to, you know, make it into a, a cone head, like putting the, the wings on the legs totally doesn't work. Um, the little additions, like the, the little wrist communicators, it just seems kind of out there. Um... Again, it, it again you know the, the figure is high quality and I guess mostly fine, but I I'm just not really seeing the anything amazing about it. Again, it it just seems like it broke you know an already passable design. I mean I I like the Master Beast jets. I think they're pretty cool. I even like the whole um, tail fins on the hips things. I think that was pretty good. But yeah, so Master Beast or uh -huh, masterpiece not Ramjet or Eye Gear. PPO3J, Fighter Team Jet. It's, um, if you like Ramjet, you'll probably like this toy, although you might just be satisfied with the classic Ramjet toy. Because, again, this is the Masterpiece mold, just kind of modified, and it has all the strengths and weaknesses of the Masterpiece mold. Um, so this has been Andrew for Collection DX, and I'm um, feeling a little disappointed in this toy. Oh well.